The father and daughter are in custody. Police are not saying where the child is. Annie Rourke is live in News 8 Control with more on this disturbing story. Annie? Anne and Darren, it is definitely a strange case. Now, the police got involved because the daughter's former girlfriend complained to them about a sex tape being sold. Now, both the father and the daughter initially denied that they were even related, but a test showed that they were. 46-year-old George Sayers Jr. and his daughter, 23-year-old Tiffany Hartford, both of Bethel, are now both behind bars, accused of having an incestuous relationship, one that produced a baby. A simple DNA test proved Tiffany's father, George, was also the father of her now two-year-old. We went to their family home on Nashville Road. No one came to the door, but we spoke to a clinical psychologist to understand a little more about a case like this. To consider her not to be a victim, not to be a victim is totally inappropriate. She was a victim, and even though her behavior is no longer uh, what society would consider appropriate, uh, she's uh, been a terrible victim. Dr. Ralph Welsh does not know either the father or daughter and has never treated either one. He specializes in child abuse and says though Tiffany is an adult at 23, he does not believe she should be facing charges. Bethel police would not discuss the details of this case with us, but we do know that it was Tiffany's former girlfriend who first went to the authorities. Tiffany then told police she wants to become a porn star. Dr. Welsh says that's not surprising. Victims of sexual assault often become hypersexual. Yeah, I've had several patients who wanted to be porn stars uh, because that kind of legitimatized what had happened to them in their life. In fact, the father, George, took video of his daughter having sex with that former girlfriend who says Tiffany would introduce George as her, quote, husband father. George was then selling that video for $40 as well as some suggestive pictures of his daughter for $5. That's what angered the former girlfriend and brought her to police. Dr. Welsh says when you see this sort of disturbing behavior, it has often been passed down through the generations. And I would like to know the history of the man. Uh, very good, good possibility that he was sexually abused as a child. A very good possibility. It is not yet clear tonight who is taking care of the baby right now. Both of them are still in jail. Both of them are now facing felony charges of incest as well as misdemeanor charges of obscenity having to do with that videotape. Both of them have pled not guilty and will be back in court December 21st. Live in News 8 Control, Annie Rourke, back to you.